Hi, Chicken Gang. The last video I was talking about connecting the dots. So let's connect the dots on what's going to happen to the stock market because most of you are investors. India is in a lot of trouble. The damn cock prime minister for his own selfish reasons conducted a rally in the middle of COVID. And next, we have the virus mutating to be more contagious. And the thing is, India is one of the biggest producers of vaccine by volume. And I just learned this from my podcast. And I'm sure the third wave is going to be worse. Next, we have inflation going up. I'm sure you are feeling it wherever you are in the world. Cost of stuff is going up. Housing is up. Commodities like lumber and oil is up. Going up fast is a problem. So... This is something that I'm watching out for. Just now I went to buy a broom and toilet paper. Can you believe toilet paper now costs 80 cents per row? I'm going to stop using toilet paper to prevent backsplash. Back to the rich nations. Business are scrambling to meet demand. In fact, businesses continue to scramble. Uh, they cannot keep up with what's going on out there. You heard about the cheap shortages and low inventories. Businesses are struggling to keep up. And adding to that fire, business are struggling to hire workers. But why? Business is good. So what is going on if businesses are scrambling and can't meet uh, 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 demand? Uh, what is going on is if you pay people not to work, they won't work. Exactly. If you pay people not to work, they won't work. Do you see the slowdown of employment? Connecting the dots labor shortages and increased demand. Businesses are feeling the heat and this will cause a spike in inflation, meaning to say stuff gets more expensive. So back here in Singapore, we rely a lot on foreign labor to build housing. I see most housing projects now delaying and resale price will continue to spike. In the US, your, you guys, the housing price are surging, right? Do let me know wherever you are in the world, and in your country, what are the things that you observe that price are increasing? So back to investing in stocks. You need to anticipate market's reaction. And this is my prediction. Short-term inflation, long-term deflation. The short-term inflation will cause a downward pressure on growth companies. It doesn't mean that stocks will go down. It just means that Growth companies' earnings will continue to go up. In fact, I think up is an understatement. Probably, profits will start to soar to the moon. But as profit starts to rise, stock price is supposed to rise. But due to the inflationary pressures, it's going to temporarily sideways. Long term, I believe there is more deflationary pressures from innovation, productivity and disruption. For example, because of the Amazon effect, our products that we buy now are cheaper. Another example is cost of batteries coming down massively, allowing mass adoption. When we piece this information together or connecting the dots, this feels like the aftermath of World War I and II and history's most deadly events. The world want to move on. I mean, don't you? The pent-up pressure, in my opinion, is crazy. The growth stocks will surge and I'm all in to the moon. On the economic indicator front, now, we still believe we're in a V-shaped recovery uh, and, uh, and, and that there will be nothing getting in the way in the short term. For me, I do not see any worrying signs for now. If I do, I'll definitely let you know. Continue to dollar cost average and you will do pretty well. As always, invest safe. <laughs>